present to you the Parthenon puzzle cabinet. This is a sequential order puzzle cabinet. It holds about nine puzzles inside, but there's certainly room for more when it comes to the Hanayama small puzzles. It is made almost entirely of purple heart. There is also poplar inside and maybe some pine for secondary woods, maybe a little bit of plywood. Uh, it is finished with a just a basic shellac and uh, we'll go into how it works in a minute. So the Parthenon is based on the one at Centennial Park in Nashville, Tennessee. Sort of the key point of that, the original was made of uh, lesser materials and it was rebuilt into what is seen today, made of stone. Uh, this one is made primarily of purple heart. There is some poplar inside and some other materials as well. And so, how do we get into it? The original has uh, two big chambers, and so this has two big chambers and has a few other features as well. So let's first off start off by taking off the front stairs. Just two, two brass pins there. And we'll remove the columns. And just kind of remove sort of like a gate columns into a piece of wood with a big door. Pull this out. Let's go, let's go this way. There's another brass rod with threaded ends from the tap and die set in the machine's chest. Push that door in, reach around, and let's pull it out. There's your entrance panel. Vertical key. To a slot. Look inside. Haniyama Seahorse. It's a good place to keep it. And the first of four paintings. This is a painting of the Parthenon itself in Centennial Park on the water and uh, done in acrylic. I should note that on the uh, Parthenon there's usually a set of columns in the front followed by another set of columns behind that and so for me I combined the entrance wall with the big door with that second set of columns to make this whole panel here. Moving forward how do we get past this? A little space up here but that doesn't really do anything it doesn't doesn't go anywhere well that's where we get into the sort of sequential order where you must go in a certain order or else you're not going to get anywhere. So when you pull out, there's a pin here. Pin like this. And there's a pin over here. Then, columns removed on this end and on this end. And we have some more skewers that come out and skewers that come out. And then it should remove. I put these little eye hooks in to kind of help me grab it. Because when it's full of puzzles, it's not as easy to get as it was when I first was making it. You have to just work it. <laughs> work it out of there. 
Oh boy. That's part of the puzzle. There we go. So here's the panel. The reverse side, you may remember this from the Passions Collide video. Uh, this is Cheekwood, which is in Nashville. It's a sort of uh, historic mansion, botanical gardens, art gallery, all rolled up into one. And so this is also done in acrylic. It's again the second of the four paintings inside. Now looking back in here, we have some puzzles. Now, the original Parthenon had a large statue of a Greek goddess, her name being. And so, I didn't want to put that in my creation. So instead, you have Beryl Cooper and a key. Beryl Cooper is sort of my big item that's going to be inside. And that's actually what was uh, the reason for building the Parthenon, because the uh, Cooper's barrel was too large for the apothecary. Uh, here's the uh, Flow Circus by um, John Claude Constantine, I believe, the puzzle that I've recently acquired. Here's the inside three maze box, the easiest level, and it is easy. Okay. So there is a key. But before you use the key, Inside, there is a panel in the floor. The painting on the end is from Radnor Lake, which is uh, sort of outside of Nashville. This is Radnor Lake State Park, a very beautiful place. We went there last November, uh, but I'm sure it's beautiful year round. It's a view of the, the lake and the surrounding woods. So, for the panel in the floor, this is actually inspired by something from Ghostbusters Afterlife, where there was something in the floor. Check out that movie if you don't know what, that, what I'm talking about. So I can pull that up. Originally, this was going to be for cast valve to fit in, but I didn't make it deep enough. However, it was just the right size for cast cross. From Hanayama just recently... Uh, released from them a couple months ago, but uh, available now uh, from North American places. So that comes out of there. Uh, there really isn't enough room for the key to be there as well, and so I've only got there in there at the moment. So using our key, go ahead and reach back there, stick it in a hole, and that opens up this panel, which has hinges on the other end. That reveals the last compartment. In this last compartment, we have some more puzzles, including, I can't pronounce it very well, Glückspiel, I believe. This is by John Claude Constantine, and it's a disentangle puzzle. We also have Star Break by uh, Sebastian Spiel. Phantom, which is a metal puzzle from Puzzle Master of Canada. Supernova, another metal puzzle from Puzzle Master of Canada. Way in the back, we have a mirror. I've always wanted to put a mirror inside a puzzle cabinet that you find yourself looking at, sort of that uh, reference to vanity or finding yourself in a puzzle when you are looking for something more. And so that's what's back there is, is a mirror. The last painting, I'll show a picture of that here. The last painting is the uh, set of carillons found in Bicentennial Park uh, in Nashville, just behind the Tennessee State Museum, down from the State House. And so this is a, a number of carillons that kind of make a circle and play different types of music. The idea being that we're seeing it in the wall, in the inside of the chamber panel, and reflected in the mirror, you almost have a look and I'll show you a picture here.
you almost get that look of being there and looking at it. And so the last item inside is a music box. And so we're going to reach in and we're going to play some of that music. If you've ever been in uh, that Bicentennial Park and have stood amongst the carillons, you may have heard that song. It's one of two or three, three or four songs that they play that sort of uh, champions Tennessee history. And so uh, most of you would not have been there or experienced that. So uh, for me, this Parthenon and those pictures were sort of a way to remember a good vacation uh, a place that I don't live, and uh, just uh, I, I got so much out of that vacation, I thought I would make a puzzle cabinet sort of <clears throat> to celebrate it. And so that's what we do sometimes. And so the Parthenon does not hold a vast amount of puzzles, such as the uh, apothecary does, but as I said, it holds nine. I do have room for this one. Cast Planet will eventually go in there. And when you're dealing with the small Hanayama puzzles, things like this, I think more can be filled in there. Because once I finish a puzzle and I have designed it, and I've decided how many puzzles will fit into it, after it's completely finished, I'll just keep putting puzzles in. Because if they fit, put them in. Because that's one more thing that they can be added to. And so that's what I do. And that is the Parthenon sequential puzzle cabinet.